So today we've got a two for one offer on a story um, because this just isn't one story about, well, Boris Johnson's potential corruption. We also have at the same time a story about a very important article. After all, it's it's about Boris Johnson's corruption. We'll get to it in a moment. But this story disappeared completely from the online space. It being uh, published, as you can see uh, in the in the picture here, published in the Times. But the story itself was completely wiped away from the Times website. So there are two things going on here at play, and both of them are hugely important, hugely important. I cannot under, understate the seriousness of this. So before we go uh, jumping into uh, just what's go gone on here, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, uh, you know the drill. There's my Patreon page. There's a one-off dash link uh, called Buy Me Coffee, where you can buy me coffee. And of course, there's the YouTube subscription button as well, where you get all the little bells and whistles uh, when you uh, subscribe to that. So what's been going on here? Well, let's talk, um, let's break these down into two things. Let's talk about the story uh, that was in the Times itself. So the story was a continuing um, investigation of this, of, well, Boris Johnson's, shall we say, many, many affairs. Um, because, again, his current wife, or at that time, um, his, um, I, just, I suppose Boris would call it his bit on the side, um, well, his wife was going through chemotherapy, <laughs> or, well, his then, at the time, that wife was going through chemotherapy, um, decide to obviously go off with Carrie. And at that time, he was uh, the Foreign Secretary. So Foreign Secretary, quite an important position. And from what is being reported in uh, the Times, and I have no reason to, to, to disbelieve, and we'll get into this uh, later on, that this was uh, a false or anything like that, We've got no reason to believe it, it It wasn't false because, again, this in itself is quite a big story because you've got the foreign secretary at that time, Boris Johnson, basically saying, I am going to give my, um, my, shall we say, my secret partner, um, and again, would be future wife, a top job at the foreign office with a total income of over £100,000. That, as, as I'm sure you will agree, is newsworthy. It is <laughs> it is very, very newsworthy. Of course, Boris Johnson with scandal upon scandal coming out after him, as we've said before, Boris is so scandal, you know, magnetic. He just attracts scandals to him. You know, there will not be, you know, if he stands still too long, they'll all just, just you know, be attracted to him. So that's why he has to keep on moving. And of course, this scandal in itself is, is a couple of year old, but this is what happens with Boris Johnson. Scandals just follow him around and people find out about this stuff. And of course, it comes to light. And this was what a lot of the anti-Boris faction back in the, uh, at least the 2019 Tory leadership contest were warning about. Boris's, you know, scandals. You may remember the hashtag Tory scandals to come back then about these future scandals that a lot of journalists were saying, yeah, we're looking into a lot of these uh, scandals. Um, there are quite a lot <laughs> and they are coming and going to come thick and fast. And this is almost certainly one of them. I mean, just imagine, you know, the foreign secretary giving a top job at the foreign at the foreign office to his essential, um, well, future wife. But at that time, um, you know, is the woman who he's having an affair with. <laughs> you know, um, that is absolutely a a story. And it absolutely should be 100% reported. Now, of course, this comes to the next part. Because, like I say, we've got a two-for-one here issue for you. So, 
obviously this story was published this morning and is quite an important story. Now, within, again, hours, shall we say, of this article being published, it was very, very quickly scrubbed from the Times online website. You can only find it, uh, as again, you can see uh, here in this this photo, or this, this Twitter photo, of the um, article actually existing in the Times. That's the only place where you can currently see it if you happen to bought that um well at least bought today's uh newspaper so it's very very weird that they just scrub this article so what's gone on here so let's think this through let's let's be logical about this for a second so if a newspaper were to publish a a wrong story and it is in print they've got it on their website what do they do well immediately they can just publish a correction they can take down the article from their website, or even amend it saying, um, you know, new information has come to light, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we, you know, this isn't the case anymore, or we publish, you know, false information. They could do that. And that's what a lot of other journalists have been pointing out as, as this has rolled on throughout the day, that if this was a, um, you know, misreport or something like that, and these things happen, the Times could easily just put out a correction very easily but they haven't they've deleted it completely off their website why because as we discussed just a moment ago the fact what boris johnson tried to do here is corruption at the highest level you know giving your again the person who you're having an affair with at that time a top job in the foreign office where you work um not good. So almost certainly this could potentially, I think, become an even bigger issue. Um, there will probably be another report into this, maybe another investigation. Um, but the idea that this article has just been pulled, we don't know. There may have been threats from number 10 to get them to pull it uh, in terms of access, which again, if that gets pulled, the Times could have other stories that they are running where even basic mundane stories where they have quotes or or stuff from the government and the government just retracts those those statements from them before they're even published could leave them in a, in a world of hurt or you know retract access through interviews or or other stuff they could have threatened that they could have done something else maybe that we're just not aware of ultimately i suspect the truth will out about what happened here in with the times but as you can see from the from the tweet next to me a lot of journalists, even former Times journalists in, in this case, um, mystified by why this has been unpublished. So, as always, um, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below there are links to my Patreon page and a one off station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time.